I'm we're drinking, live. Uh, sparkling water, Mike. Brink has sparkling water. Uh, thank you for listening to Skate Flay, the best skateboard podcast in the world. Today is Wednesday, January 18th, 2017. I'm Grant Fierro. This is Michael Medina, and Robert yeah. Brink is here today with us. Um, yeah, the OG Skate Flay, Yanta. It's my, it's my show now. Drew's gone. It's my show. Oh, you're taking oh, over. Yeah, that'd be sick, dude. We'd get popular. <laughs> We'd be the weekend buzz or the weekend buzz to. How can we steal that somehow? Hold on. I got to I gotta think of a clever play on words. Steal it. Everyone else does. No shit. <laughs> like, steal whatever is, you want. It is, it is undeniable, the fact that every single podcast or uh, talk show or whatever you want to call it is in that exact same format. Yeah. I was stressed about it a while ago, but I don't – I mean, everybody's cool. Everyone's friends. So I, 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 I had to get past it. Kids. I don't think people did it on purpose, like, I'm going to copy Weekend Buzz, you know, and we're not the most original thing ever. There's been talk shows forever, you know what I'm saying? Right. I think that, um, I think it was more influenced than biting. Yeah, no, and I, I don't, like, for a minute I was stressed about it, but then, I, you know, again, it's like not worth being angry about because right. I'm friends with, like, I know all these people. It's cool. Right. So did you write any diss tracks? <laughs> uh, no, just some. Di- there was probably some diss tweets or something, but not diss. Yeah, some some <laughs> extra. Um, uh, <laughs> some- <laughs> That's funny. yeah. I can't even get my sentence out. That's amazing. Um, I don't know where should we start. We'll start with Jamie Foy. Wait, 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 wait. What Mike. Up? What's your job, Mike? Yeah, I'm a property manager. Does the audience know this? I have no idea. I hope not. So what do you do? <laughs> they do now. <laughs> <laughs> they fucking do now. Or, in case reality. nobody knows the reason we're a half hour late is because Mike was property oh, manager. Oh, yeah, stuff. Mm-hmm. So what do you do as a property manager? Do you have to, like, uh, unclog toilets and shit like that, or do you Ooh, call? No, that'd be, like, something I would call my maintenance guy for. I would, like, go there and be like, oh, yeah, that shit's really fucked up. Got to fix that. So I like a lot of the, or I like show apartments, you know, like or homes or whatever. It's, it's, it's. So are you working your way towards real estate? No, I just, I'm working towards a, a pretty decent paycheck every week. Yeah. But I mean, what's, what's the next phase of that? Are you going to use what you're learning now to expand your career? Or are you going to leave that industry? Potentially. I have taken a lot of office experience from it for sure. So are you in an office most of the day? It depends. Some days I'm in the car a lot of the days, and most some days I'm in the office a lot of the days. It just depends on how shitty this, the situations are. Do you wear like a Bluetooth headset while you're driving around and you're like, yo, man, get, go fucking unclog this toilet and somebody go mow that lawn? I fucking wish. Yeah. You know what? I do, I do drive around in a company car. I drive around in a black Suburban. Oh, that's sick. Do you ever <laughs> do anything in the back seat? It is pretty cool because I feel like I'm living far above my means in a job like that fucker is $75 to fill it up you have to pay for that right shit my car is $35 to fill up can we talk about skateboarding no man we talk about that every we do you ever bring like a chicken into the, this is my show now Drew's got <laughs> freak is taking over do you ever like bring a chicken in the back seat of the uh, suburban I wish I have gotten quite a few numbers though like on like apartment <laughs> showings and shit What's, like, the weirdest shit you've ever had to deal with in your job? Like, have you ever had to deal with, like, a crazy situation? Oh, yeah. I also, another part of my job is that I have to do the court summons. So, like, for people like the deadbeats that don't pay me. Yeah, I got to bang on their fucking door, and I say, here, you owe us this much money. If if not, I'll see you in court. Here's these papers. Oh, you don't want to sign them? I'll see you in court. If you're not there, I'll be back again to tell you that you owe us more money. Like, locked out. Locked yeah, my, my, I mean, I have had some stressful ones where, like, I've banged on this one lady's door, and she ended up having, like, five dudes just standing at the door behind her, like, well, yeah, what are you here for? What the fuck are you here for? I'm like, I'm like, well, because you owe us fucking $2,400, that's why I'm fucking here, you know? Sounds like she was trying to earn it that day. You interrupted it. Shit, probably. <laughs> Hectic. Jesus Christ. We do have one of our tenants that's pretty sick. She, like, in order to pay her rent, she's, like, been hella behind in her rent. But she's, like, a sweet lady. Like, we, we try to work with her, you know, because we can show she's actually fucking trying, you know. Like, she keeps the communication there and everything. 
and she sells plates of food on Friday, dude, for ten dollars a plate. Really? That's yeah. It's like some hustler shit, dude. <laughs> what what towns? What is this all in San Diego? Oh no, you're in like Chicago or something. Yeah, I'm like an hour outside of Chicago in a college town. What's the town called? It's called Laguna Beach. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's got an amazing sunset, bro. You wish. Oh. Can we talk uh, about the pitch before I give away my yeah, entire to skate- my life on air? Um, Jamie Foy dropped his death wish part. Welcome to the team on Thrasher. Mike, I'm, I'm, you could go first. We, well, I already know you're psyched. I think this it's sick because we got this part and we got like the Nine Club episode to kind of like go along. Not go along with it because they don't really reference each other, but like just to um, – I don't know. It's kind of cool that they came out at the same time. Like, around the same Jamie time in one week. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's really sick that he kind of like, um, like since this is his most recent part and his most recent interview, it's almost like the interview is regarding the part. You know what I mean? Especially when he's talking about like switching it up and not having too many uh, front crooked grind variations and how he wants to do more ledge tricks and shit like that. Like you can clearly see that in this part. Like, I think it's really crazy though. One thing that I did take away from, I mean, I'm not trying to flip flop back and forth between the interview and the part or whatever, but I really, really, really liked in the interview where he talked about how easy it was to get rail tricks. Like what yeah, a motherfucker, like, dude! Like, He's like, I, I could get four real tricks in a day, or I could, I could battle for one ledge trick, and I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, imagine if you had it like that. Yeah, I mean, uh, but he doesn't have ledges, so there's a sacrifice. You know what I mean? Like yeah. He's- He's saying, but, okay, okay, I'm not trying to, because everyone knows, especially people that watch this show, like, anyone who knows me knows that that's my fucking dude. Like, I love watching that dude skateboard. Like, that is some entertaining shit right there. <laughs> but personally, like, if he doesn't skate a ledge ever again, I'm not going to be bummed one bit. Like, he can yeah. skate fucking rails and be Adrian fucking Lopez all he wants to. I'm fine with that. What stood out? What tricks in the part? I mean, the fuck, the way that he does front feebles is crazy to me. Oh, like, I know that's weird to say the front feebles stood back. out, but, like, the way that he does it, just, like, his heels yeah, are his almost – foot is way back there. It's I mean, his front foot, yeah. And yet, that's a big motherfucker, man. <laughs> like, I don't know how, like, I don't know. It's just cool to see that dude skateboard. I don't know. Brink, you got anything to say about – Um, we could go nine club or his video part. I like, yeah, like, let's keep this, like, conjoined. I think that's sick. I like the nose grind. Um, that blew me away. But I know I love Jamie. Jamie's so sick. So anything he does, yeah. rails, ledges, it doesn't matter to me. You're just. Do you think it. that it was like it, it took a while for him to get introduced on Deathwish? Um, I didn't. I haven't really thought about it. I mean, he came on our show a while ago with Zion, and he was on Deathwish, but he was probably just you know wrapping up the part or whatever, you know. I, I have, no, I have no idea how the timing works or why, you know. Maybe yeah. maybe it was just a thing for waiting for the beginning of the new year or something. Yeah. yeah I, I think mean, that, I like, like um, I think that Deathwish is also trying to make spots for, like, new AMs. Like, I think that by making Jamie an AM, it's, like, a step closer to turning him pro, you know, which would allow, I guess, some other people to come up underneath that. Like, I don't know. I think that's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Cause I know what's that? What's the uh, the tall black dude? <laughs> oh, I'm dead, that, that's who? What's his Red, name? Grant Redmaster Keith. Yeah, that guy, dude. Him and fucking Joe Malazzo, the two flow dudes that they have right now, are amazing Eric skateboarders. Valdez, so like, I, and Eric, yeah. Well, he they like they like kind of like back him already, right? Yeah, he's kind of like where Jamie was before this part dropped, where he's kind of like like he he went on trips and stuff, but he has gotcha. had like a. Well, he had a kill tape, so I don't really know like where he's at. But well, I mean, they, when a company puts you like in their like their video project plans, you're pretty much you know like you're sitting mm-hmm. pretty. Yeah, yeah, it's not like they're just like giving Definitely. boards and saying, "Oh, here, yeah, we, we like what you're doing," kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, they're backing up. I don't know. Sure. And then uh, for me, I think what's it on the part? Uh, or Brink? Oh, you said the nose grind. Uh, the front five zero. I just picture that slam, and then bringing the pinched out front five down there. Yeah, that's- what was it's that like, like a fucking or 20? Right when he hits the ground. That That's fat. crazy. That and then that shootout rail he did front crook shove over was super sick. I really I was like a fan of just pop over tricks like that. Because it's like, I don't know, that's not easy, especially on a front crook and shove over like that. It's crazy. Is this um, the first um Red Bull sponsored Jamie Foy tr- uh, part we we're seeing? 
Probably. I don't think he's been on for too long. That's yeah. right. It was pretty clear on, on the nine club with his water bottle and his hat. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> the water bottle was funny. Um, yes. I mean, I think it's – I thought it was sick to definitely see some new stuff. But also, like, what you would expect out of a Jamie part, for sure, like, buck rail tricks the whole time. Or a lot. <laughs> Big um, ass rail. And we'll just keep it going with dudes and board companies. Sandov Ronnie Sandoval went pro for Crooked. Thank God. Uh, that was, like, right – what was that, like, last Thursday or something? Like, kind of right after we did Skate Filet. So, I think yeah, – like, I think I, it was, I, like, I was psyched on that. Yeah, I think that we were, like, a lot of people were waiting for that one to happen. Yeah, I, think I, think, I mean, he's just like, next in line. The, yeah, the crooked team is just so diverse, man. Like they're they can do everything. Yeah, no, definitely. I think it's rad that he's on crooked compared to like, I mean, most tranny dudes that are. I don't know. I mean, he just skates different from a lot of the crooked guys you'd maybe anticipate him. Yeah, but if he was on one eight, you'd be like, oh, yeah. that totally makes sense. Yeah, I think it's sick that he's on crooked. It's like a little different from the rest. Um, and, but I mean, they have dudes that can skate everything, like Mike Anderson, skate whatever he wants. Right. But I don't know. I think, it, and they just posted the video today of like the, they went to go uh, shoot bows and arrows and then turn them pro there, like at the archery thing or whatever. Did you just see him skating the barracks? Yeah. Oh, yeah. His banging came out too, as well. Yeah. Dude, that, yeah, that I really like watching him skate street. I think it's really yeah, cool. It's like, yeah. Cause they're used to seeing mainly tranny footage. Like the crook, yeah. the crook tail grab down the five rail was so sick. And he blunted the fucking, he blunted so the blunted blunted blunted. Fakie down the hubba. Yeah, I don't remember if he went to straight or fakey, but yeah, that, was that awesome. on a blunt side was rad for sure. And the way he skated the table on the uh, out of the quarter pipe was sick. Brink, you have any thoughts? He board slid, slid that crazy rail that Arto like died on in minefield, like the street rail, right? Oh. Which what video was that in? It was it was like an Insta clip that I oh, saw really? the other day. It's like a double or triple kink, like green handrail. Hmm. I, don't, I, I can't that remember that off the top of my head. And then like it was Arto's opener and Arto's part. I think he tried to lip slide it and slammed to his face. Yeah, and he slammed to his face. Oh, crazy. I think it's the same rail. And then a clip of Chase Webb came out like two days later, board sliding it as well. <laughs> oh, that's funny. There was all kids leaving comments like Ronnie did it first. If I'm getting all my <laughs> if I'm getting all my facts straight, it's possible. Yeah. But I'm pretty yeah. sure Ronnie board slid this rail. Those Great. comments always crack me up, man. The A B D comments are my favorite. <laughs> Already been done. Um But where was that one that we just saw? The Smolik one. The one oh, that I what did you, that was, it was someone did like Back to 70 tail side kick flip, I think. Yeah, it was it Luan. Luan. It was Luan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. On Instagram. Uh, that's that like comment. 20 years ago. Yeah, that's yeah, what he said. That's what comment said. It, like, I did that in 94. Really yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, was so funny. that is hilarious. Can you see this? Street League should have posted his. Oh, go ahead, Rob. Yeah, Get yeah, Rob, start something. talking. Oh, yeah, you can't. Hold on. Let me replay it. Is it showing me on the screen now or whatever? Uh huh. Hold on. Are you? I don't know if you can see this. This is the this is the rail. Like Arto killed himself oh. on that rail. That is so gnarly. Damn, that's that fucked rad. up. So I had my I had my names right. It's like yeah, six you, six posts back or ten posts back on his Instagram. Okay, so he he did it and then Chase did it too. I didn't even realize he was on Vans. Now I, I'm out of the loop sometimes these days. But that was the um in the no other way. No way out thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I saw that, and then I was like, "Oh, that's that's news to me." Yeah, they put him. He like right when Elijah's part ends, he has that sick invert, and then that was like his welcome to Vans. Um, yeah, he left Lakai. Dude, speaking of Lakai, man, did they lose another one? Uh, looks like a Daniel Espinosa. I I checked yesterday; he was still on the team page, but he was in an Insta video just skating in like Van. Uh, they either look like Vans Authentics or I guess Authentic Pros, maybe, but just like chilling Vans skating. What's going on? I don't know. I mean, they've lost a lot of dudes over the past not that long of time. <laughs> um, it doesn't necessarily shock me that Daniel's leaving. I feel like he doesn't really skate with, like, dudes on Makai that much, you know? Isn't he it also doesn't... on Royal? He is. Yeah, that's true. So he has, like, the Krautab connection pretty. Like, I mean, 
for a while too. What's going too. on? Why are these people like? What's going on there, man? Ever since the whole MJ thing, it's I feel like it's kind of just been like negative publicity, so to speak. Yeah, well, yeah. That's say negative I'm... publicity, kind of just like stagnant, leaving silently, or people stop wearing their shit, or some you know stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I don't know. I mean, I still think I really like their team. Like I think Lakai definitely has a sick team, even though they've lost a Who's lot. Left? of uh, Sibo, they have um, what's his face? The two homies, the two guys that just put on girl Simon. Man and, yeah, Manchild's on there. Is Mike Mo back on there? I saw him post a photo <laughs> of the guys. No, nah, Drew actually asked him about that, and uh, he did an interview with them. And Mike Mike Mo said that he didn't even ask for that; like it just showed up at his house, and he was just chilling in them. Oh, I saw yeah. him post a photo of him. I was, thought that was interesting. Yeah, I thought that was rad that he did that. That is sick. He doesn't. I mean, he can wear whatever he wants at the moment. Uh, uh, is he not on DC anymore? Mm -mm. No. Nope. See how out of the, I'm such a bad Yenta. I don't even know these things. Yeah. I mean, what? Well, well, DC laws. Mike Mo Davis or dropped is at least what we heard. Mike Mo Davis and uh, Felipe. Uh oh. Is that so, what your sources tell you? Yeah. This well, no. We heard. Mike Mo. Mike Mo like said it straight up to Drew, pretty much. Like it was just because he was hurt. And then I don't know. I have no info about Davis and Felipe. I heard not from Felipe's mouth, but I heard that it was because he was injured for a decent amount of time as well. Same um, with Davis, though, right? They were they're all like cases of people being injuries for pro, like injured for prolonged uh, time periods. So it's like Davis been dropping stuff though. He did a trans roll part like a year ago, and then he just did that yeah, thing. And, Jack Olsen. That, and Kyle's edit was so sick. Yeah, and that. The switch alley into that bank was so tight. I really like Davis a lot, but yeah, Davis, Davis looks like he's getting on New Balance. That's what he's been ripping. I mean, dude, those shoes were pretty cool. For those being like an ugly ass colorway that I would never wear, I thought I thought what, they those pink ones. Hot, yeah, that shit's those are funny. <laughs> no, those are... <laughs> it's like pink, pink suede like with like standard. an ugly gum sole. Like, what That's the fuck is that? Suede. <laughs> That's so funny. Um. Well, we, we'll just keep the pro thing going. Uh, Sean Popo turned pro for FA. This what did they know that? That was like Saturday, Friday, Saturday. Uh, what do you think about that, Brink? Uh, I back it. I love those dudes. You back? You back him being pro though? Yeah. Sean Pablo. Yes. <laughs> I'm not pissed. I'm not right, pissed. I'm let me like, ask you I'm this: pro. Why do you not back that? Okay, what's your, you what's, your, what's your favorite Sean Pablo video part, Brink? It, I, I couldn't give you a part because there's all these like different clips over the last couple of years. Oh, that are it's all yeah. montage clips. So? I'm from a time where the video part is very, oh, very... You're good. sounding old, man. You're sounding I, old and crabby. I, I think Brink's from I, a time I can sound like too. an old guy and shit and still be <laughs> accurate. I come from a time where the video part meant a lot. It meant everything because we didn't have these fucking online parts. It's like we waited this for this. We was what we waited for. So video parts have always been very important to me. Even the, in the internet age, I still remember a lot of shit. I still, I still go back and watch a lot of shit that people forgot about. So it's like... It's one, if it's one part of the equation, though. It's not... Everything. I understand that. Okay, and what's the other parts, though? A lot of... And, and traditionally... Ability. The way to dial... I understand that. I get that. And even like even in the social media age, I'll even give you that. But he doesn't post it. He doesn't post like streets like clips like that, does he? I don't know. What do you mean? You say, you're basing everything on posting footage. Yeah. There's so much more than that. I'm absolutely I mean, basing every turning pro to be a pro skateboarder. I'm basing everything on turn on footage and and production. <laughs> And you don't think between like Cherry and the FA videos and the hockey videos and the Willi all the William Strobeck clips that have come out in the last two years that and whatever else I'm probably missing some. No, I just think that he's a really good skateboarder. I think that in comparison to everyone else on that fucking awesome roster, he is the nowhere near them. But what about people who've been pro for like thirty years and are barely skating and still are pro? Good point. So but my theory is that somebody young who's, who's, I think, killing – you also have to base it on who's backing him, I've learned. Totally. But in rebuttal to that, you, you, you say that, like, what about the guy who's been pro for 30 years who isn't skating? 
Well, he's put his work in, man. I'm he's already saying, dropped it. I'm not That's saying that pro doesn't deserve it. That pro still deserves it, and I feel that so does Sean Pablo. I just feel like had Sean Pablo dropped two, like that's all I ask for, two video parts, two, just fucking two video parts. I'd say, yeah, dude, give him that board. But don't you think like Tyshawn, like, dude? Tyshawn, like, what he dropped three deserves that. Give him it, dude. Rips. But what about like Sean has enough footage for it's just it's not all edited. Just what, him. kickflips and impossibles. But what I'm saying is, if if you think video parts are the most important element of being pro, what about all the people who've been pro for so long that aren't putting out video parts? Should you take away their pro models? I mean, we've seen that happen before. Yeah, no, I'm just asking you. I'm not even disagreeing with you, but I'm Me, saying like personally, I think it, it may be a, a financial thing, right? At that point, because like look at know. one eight, like there's still a Grosso board, but then we had the whole Grosso. Baker thing. Yeah, sorry. And then fucking we had Baker take away um, Spanky Hale. and Dane Hale. And Spanky had his had to work and drop video parts to get his board back. Okay. I mean, that's a pretty good example. You're telling me there's not enough Sean Pablo footage out there for him to that's be That's how I feel. That never crossed my no. mind once. Like, I feel like I've seen enough of him to know. I've seen enough kickflip and impossibles to know that he's really good at kickflip and impossible. Yeah, but I mean, you could argue that you could argue that about a lot of people that they have their certain tricks. Yeah, you could say that about. I mean, a lot of people didn't get Dylan a bunch of years ago either. You know what? When when did people when, not get Dylan? Please. When when his shoe part came out, everyone made fun of him. Everyone made fun of the shoes. They and did his not gear, make fun of the fucking and impossible his gear, over and his arm. Dude, they made fun of everything about Dylan. They made fun of his gear and then all just j jacked his steez within days. Yeah, so my whole point is like sometimes we, the public, and sometimes I feel like, you know, I feel like I'm somewhere in between an industry guy and a pub, you know, a regular skater out there. We don't always know what's coming. You know what I mean? Totally. You're right. So, so there, there could, could be, there could be a Sean Pablo part coming, or he might be like entering his window of amazingness where all of a sudden, like, there's going to be a million kids dressing like him or whatever. I don't know. I think he's, he's still dressing like Dylan, though. What? He's still dressing like Dylan, though. Yeah, but I feel like he's like tweaked it his own way. You know what I mean? I can see that. I'm not even hating on Sean Pablo. I remember when I first saw Sean Pablo, like at some video premiere, I was like, who's that kid that looks just like Dylan? Like, I, I don't get it. And then totally. I, I, I wasn't mad that. at it, but but I look at it now of like, I sort of just channel my my thought process and my criticism of it just differently now. He's like super young, right? I don't 16? Know. No, he's I don't 18 know. or 19. I think he's sick. He's a year older than me. I think he's 19. He is sick. I'm not saying he's not sick. Yeah. I think he's cool. I like his brand. Is it what's it like Paradise or some shit? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's cool. Cool fucking brand. Awesome. I just think that it's come on, man. It's, where's the video parts? <laughs> Where the footage? I bet if you I went to know. YouTube you could find montages of all his footage and it's probably like twenty I bet minutes it's of all footage. black and white. I bet you it's all in black and white and it features See, kick look, and angry. See, Grant, he's angry at other shit. He's got <laughs> he's other, he's he's other he admit it. You're shit. mad about you're mad about more than just what you're saying. You no, got no, 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 because I've... His, you dude, keep bringing up black and white and kickflips and impossibles, and I've seen him, dude, <laughs> that he did the, like a backsmith grind on that bump to fence thing. That was awesome. That Ooh. bump to fence thing was cool. That backsmith was rad. I mean, Sage, does, I think Sage is fucking incredible, too. He doesn't do a ton of different, like a ton of tricks. That was another I, guy that I said I thought I'd turn pro a little soon. You got bad taste, dude. I do not have bad taste. <laughs> you do. You just, you don't know. Hey, yeah. listen. Do you want to hear my top five? No, 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 no. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Right now, you're looking for, right now, you're looking for instant gratification, Mike. No. You don't understand. No, no, no. You don't understand that, like, you know, like, these guys are going to be more like fine wines, not, not a shot of whiskey. So. You're looking for instant gratification. Would you? I mean, That's I, I get really it. Don't want to say a name. But, I, I, hold up. I, I understand if you don't want to say a name, but like, what, what's an example of a, a skateboarder that's a shot of whiskey? No, like, I'm just saying, not even a skater. It's like 
you want someone who's going to impress that's you right out of the gate, like an Instagram. Totally, yeah, like yeah that's want, how I took what you were saying. Yeah, and that's like that's what's going on on Instagram nowadays, and it's insane. There's a kid like dro- dropping off a roof, and you're like, oh my god, but but that stuff ages more quickly. The like shock value, like there's stuff that's more timeless, and that's what I think Sage and and Sean are all about. It's that's cool. That's a good style, way to it's timelessness, much like Dylan, like. You could come out and like flip your board like crazy and do crazy big rails and crazy big tricks, but some dudes are just have a, like a longer like I don't know. It's like a longer trajectory based on style, not on like some instant gratification of. Mm-hmm. That's a good way to look at it. I would say personally, I was I was surprised. I feel like I was expecting it to be a little longer until he turned pro. I'm not at all saying he's not deserving. Um, for what Mike's saying, I don't know. The way I look at it, it's like I part of me understands your point of like there isn't multiple or at least not recent just like a Sean Pablo part. But at the same time, it's like I feel like there's so much footage out there that's just in separate things to where like nearly – it's in the extent of he's getting the footage. So in a way, it doesn't matter. Um, and I don't know. I'm a big fan of watching him skate. So I wasn't – obviously, I was kind of happy. But one thing was when they turned, they turned Sage and Tyshawn pro at the same time, I believe, right? That was last summer. So I felt like Sage and Sean were always the two people that they were kind of grouped together in a lot of videos or at least like uh, as friends. So I thought when they turned Sage pro, not Sean, I was surprised and that that meant I figured like, oh, maybe they're going to release something else big of Sean before he turned pro. Which, in a way, I feel like might not have happened. But now that I think back, there has still been montages since then. And as well as that uh, shared part they did, like the past was like a month and a half or two months ago, like a little after Dylan passed, that uh, was filmed by Logan Lara, I think it was on his YouTube. So I think there's definitely been a lot of. Show. Oh, yeah, that thing was sick. Yeah, that also, part was super Sometimes cool. those things come out of nowhere, which is so cool. There's never any hype leading up to them. Yeah, they're they not building it up forever. Yeah, they just like drop that. it. Yeah, that's definitely rad. And then, I mean, definitely in a lot of Converse uh, tour videos as well, w- with both of them, with Sage and Sean, there's always footage. So, I don't know. I-, I was a little surprised. I didn't see that coming, but, I mean, it's rad. Mm. Um, <laughs> I like how mad Mike is. <laughs> <laughs> he's just he's just holding it in at this point. I think um, I, I think there's there's a lot of reasons we probably don't know. There's a lot of reasons, like where people have different taste in why, like why someone should be pro. Yeah. So where the fuck is the uh, pro uh, Ben Kado hockey board then? I don't. I mean, you're asking me. Who do you who do you think should be pro that isn't? Oh God, I'm, I'm putting. I'm doing a top five for United right now. Bobby De Kaiser. Bobby, first of all, Bobby. Second of all, Big Pinch. Stephen Lawyer. Yarnay. <laughs> I think. Uh, well, actually, I mean, but, but what? What's the difference? Like, you know, Jamie is gonna go pro. Like, what's the difference if it happens this second or at the end of the year? You know what I'm saying? Like, work, what's the rush? Video parts. No, no, no. I'm saying, what's the rush? Like, you're saying he should be pro already. Yeah, but that's more. That's me as a fan, not me as being like a holy. Oh, what changes? Pro. What changes for you as a fan if, if your favorite skater is a pro or not? Are you going to go buy Jamie's board? Probably. If, I mean, I mean, what board are you riding right now? I ride deluxe boards, man. Well, who's well, pro model? Usually a shot because he comes in an eight one. But not because he's your favorite pro. No, nah, but he's the best. But I mean, he is like. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you could say that he's my favorite pro, and I would be like, no, I, I no, he's not. Like I fucking okay, love. So guy. then when. So then when all those guys go pro, are you going to go buy their boards and skate them? Uh, well, see, I, I, like, I'm, I'm a fan why, of Why do you care if they're pro or not? That's what I'm wondering. I'm, why do you care so much? If they're, the, if they're making good skateboarding, if they're skating good and putting it out. I think because there's like this level of like you want them to, to be on the higher plane, you know? But they're going to get there. You know they're going to get there. Yeah, no, yeah, no. I don't think it's But it's, it's skateboarding, man. Everything is so quick, like you just said. It's like, I want the shot of whiskey. Maybe I don't want the fine wine. That's fine. 
Totally. <laughs> um, well, I guess <laughs> moving yeah, off of but that, that doesn't, but that doesn't mean there's not room for both of them. That was my That's point. Cool. I couldn't dis. I mean, I couldn't agree with you more. Absolutely, because Dylan is fine wine. We we watched him skate in handrails at 14 years old just to watch him never skate a handrail again in his 20s. Dude, look I mean? at Mark Johnson's pretty sweet part. Ooh, great! Like, Ab- excellent. Like that dude. I, I couldn't believe how great that part was. I didn't expect it to be that good. Not because Mark's not amazing, but I, I was like, "Holy shit, this guy just keeps getting better." And I'm and not looking like, better. And and like not to try to not to cut you off, sorry, but like I, I also like um I'm also like not I also I, I should say I am a fan of like when people do switch it up like what they're doing sort of like especially with Reynolds in the case of Andrew Reynolds like I I personally think the way he skates now is sick. Like but he's I don't kind need of a little more low him. impact and like, like and, and we all knew like stuff. like you like you said the whole like foreshadowing I guess like we knew that was coming this motherfucker wasn't gonna be jumping down big shit forever yeah of course not you have to evolve that's yeah, what's I rad agree. about guys like Gino and Dennis and Daywan is they never I, I I can't say with any certainty but they've all kept it fairly low impact and they're able to have these like I think they're able to progress. You know, they both of those dudes completely changed their that terrain of skateboarding, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they took the ledges and the manuals and they turned it in like back three manual. Oh, um, oh, do you know? Yeah. Jeez Louise, man! Every time I watch that clip, I get so excited. Like who? I don't get how he held his shoulders to come out straight like that. That was insane. Did you see the clip where that Feds posted a couple weeks ago where he lands the? Switch 270 nose slot. Like, no, I slot. do that trick because of him, Brink. Like, I like, literally did you see do one footed roll away. Like, how? Oh, much yeah, I made him so yeah. happy. Yeah. Like, somehow, that worked like, excellent. That he he was so centered over the front bolt and had it under such like only Gino can do that. Like, and that's you know what's crazy. So about that's what's rad about skateboarding. And there might be something to Sean Pablo or Sage, for example, that we aren't seeing yet. But they might have that some of that magic, you know. I hope. I hope what they do is like now that you're like you brought up the idea of it. Not saying that like this is a thing by any means because I haven't heard anything about this. But if they were to drop like footage of both of them at the same time, that'd be fucking cool. Because both of those both dudes, are Sean and what they Sean and Sage, those, dude. Hmm. Yeah. Were you saying both like referring to Sage and Sean? Yeah, I'd like to see yeah, okay. uh, them, like footage of them. Even Tyshawn, like they're like the three newest dudes in there. That'd be cool as hell. I'd be so like, oh man, I'd be hyped. I that. know. Um, just based on Kenny Anderson was doing like an Instagram live probably like a week or so ago. Oh, is that that? What is it? The 100K thing when he was on his way there, um, and he mentioned that he didn't. He said he wouldn't like confirm whether it was a full length or what. He didn't go into any detail, but he said Converse is working on a video right now. So that could easily – I mean, there will definitely be some Sage and John if it's going to include the whole team. You know? Oh, yeah, good call. So there's de- that's coming sometime down the line. Damn, um, it's heavy. We're already, we're already mentioning Converse. So Zared Bassett had a part release on the barracks. What's um, Alzheimer's? That's a board brand that he's now on. That's a pro Canadian? board. Brand. What was that? Is it, oh, is it from Canada? Canadian? No, I, I think it's hmm. – I was told it was Canadian. Really? I, I'm, I'm not that positive. That I think it is. Do you know? Is it? I know they did that collab with Adidas like a year ago. Did you say yes, they are Canadian or no? I th- it, no, I, I don't know for oh, sure. I'm looking it up. But if you heard that and if I heard it too, then you're probably right. I just don't remember off the top of my head. Because I know that that's who Spencer Hamilton is now riding for too, right? And he's Canadian as fuck. Yeah, then you're right. I don't, is Spencer on though or they're just hooking him up for the time? I was told that Spencer was on. Okay. Your, your um, sources, your sources yeah. told you. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Then I think it, you're probably right. It is Canadian. Um, so yeah, I don't know. That's I love that Zara part personally. I always thought the way that he skates banks is cool, just like different from most people. That's like his end of that uh, that flip back nose blunt, uh, like all those big oh, bank yeah. spots. He always has like nose blunt tricks too, which is so crazy. Uh, the, that kick flip back nose blunt was the shit. Yeah, that super that steep one. I think it's in Barcelona. Everyone skates. He did switch front feeble big spin out. Mm-hmm. Was super sick. Frank, what do you think about your East Coast guy? Zared was one of my first interviews that I ever did. Actually, he might have been the he might have been the first interview. Um, when was this? Um, 
I did it for a magazine called Strength, which was out of your area. It was like Cincinnati type, I think. That's um, not my not area. It's not too far from you. I mean, it's not West Coast. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just um, kidding. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was in like 2002 or three or four or what something. Did you guys talk like, about? I mean, back then. I mean, he was still like a M. You know, I don't. I don't remember. Um, yeah. Bring but actually, I, mean, I love Zerd. Actually, I, I love, love, I like I love arms. Arms. Hmm? When Zerd lands his tricks the way his arms are is always super sick. I just think he's a great representation of like, if you want to explain to somebody what an East Coast skater is like, is there like a, a North Zorn East Coast it? skater. Yeah, like like back in the day, Donnie Barley was like a really good example, and I I feel like Zared's a really good example of of someone oh. that I would explain. Uh, Westgate. Oh yeah, he's another perfect example. It's like my, whenever I think of New York skateboarding, it's always Westgate and um. His face. Converse, Jake Johnson. Ooh. Yeah, and like I think all those guys—they're they sort of embody East Coast skating. Like that yeah. power, though. I, I like that powerful shit, dude. That's, that's like that's what like East Coast. Yeah, yeah. It's it's there, yeah. that's what's cool about it. What were you gonna yeah. ask me, Mike? You, I was cutting you off. Sorry. No, it's fine. I totally spaced out, so it's all good. <laughs> were you, uh, did you watch the new his new part on the barracks? Me? Oh, yeah. 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 You did anything that stood out to you about that, or God, you gave me all this homework last night? I forget. Um, <laughs> I, I told you, you have to watch it. <laughs> <You're great typed. laughs> I got I got a whole list of assignments, like a bullet list to my text messages. <laughs> oh, I remember what I wanted to ask you while you're uh, while you're trying to. Okay, so like I just dropped an interview with Kevin Braun. Kind of like I'm really into this, like skate, like. Uh, doing like uh, interviewing amateurs. Uh-huh. Did that ever happen? Like, I don't know. Kind of like, I don't know why. I think it's fucking sick. Well, yeah, it is. Well, here, like, when I like, like I was just telling you with Zared, my first four interviews for Strength Magazine were Jack Curtin, Zared, Darrell Stan, and I think Leo Romero. Damn. And, no way. And, and at the time, they were all like. Not that they were no, like no one knew who they were, but they were all sort of like just getting on their board sponsors. They were coming up, yeah. So they and were like at the Kevin Braun level. Yeah, I don't even know who that is. Sorry, I'm not trying to. Yeah. Just... You should. He's got the first part in the Santa Cruz video. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so they're at that level, maybe a little below it, actually. Like maybe video, you know, because there was no internet back then. Like the same right. way, like parts weren't dropping on the internet. So, um, it was rad because within like two years, you had Darrell back nose blunt and Clipper and Zared just put out Vicious Cycle and Leo like blew the fuck up. Right. And, uh, and, I remember. You know, and then Jack was doing his thing and it was like, it was rad to be, to have interviewed them so young and early and then watch what they come totally. And the That's same thing right. happens with Weekend Buzz. Like, you know, we had Jamie on six or eight months ago or something, you know. And and uh, did it drop though. It dropped way after, right? I'm not sure. I mean, that, that came out in September. But I mean, like, look how long ago. Sometimes we had like, we had like um, the McClungs on, you know. I said, I, that episode and then, was so fun. I mean, look at look at Trent <laughs> now. You know what I mean? Like, who knew that he was? I mean, we knew they were good. Who knew well, he was going to be doing what he does on Primitive? You know what? Yeah. That 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 episode is one of my favorite moments. The uh, when you guys are talking to them about how they don't like how they, when you ask if their girlfriends cuss, and you're like, "Do you want a frick?" <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. It's insane. I remember that. I, did, I so didn't funny. remember that till just now. It's so. Funny. <laughs> but no, like to your point, sometimes someone walks in the show, or I get an assignment, and I don't even know what the fuck to talk to them about, or they're. Because they're so amateur and new, and they haven't done a lot, you know. Mm-hmm. But it's and there's an advantage to that and a disadvantage. You could be the you know one of the first people to interview them, and then down the line, they blow up, and you're like, "Yeah, I interviewed that guy so long ago." Or, <laughs> or you have nothing to talk about, and it's weird and boring. You know, it, it just depends. But yeah, I, I I do like it. Interesting. Uh, Mike, do you have anything else that stood out from Zared, or you're trying to move on? Move it. 
Jared was sick, yeah, though. I'm not trying to hate. It. I thought we were having a conversation about interviewing Abs. Oh, Grant likes to move it. Grant likes to no, keep we it. Can, you can, if you have something to say back, then go for he it. You ask the question. Conversations. He doesn't like. Does Grant just, like, do you just take, like, one bite of a slice of pizza and then, like, run run to the oh, next food? Not at all. No, we're, we're trying I, to I, enjoy I, a pie over here, a whole pie. No, no, that's fine if you guys want to continue. Just Mike didn't sound like he was going to say anything back. <laughs> oh, dude, I love break, man. Well, well he asked me a break. question, and then you're like, all right, so back to Zared in the barracks. Oh no! I was that's a that was a very genuine question from me to you, honestly. No, no, like, no, but I, but I answered it and then like very long winded, of course. And then you, <laughs> you didn't say anything. So I'm trying to figure out, like, so you interviewed this Kevin dude, and you're stoked on interviewing Ams, is what you're saying, right? Yeah, he like made me kind of stoked on interviewing Ams. Like I reached out to a few more Ams, hoping and like I get a response. It's like I don't know. I kind of like I'm into it right now. I'd really like to get a hold of Frankie Spears. He's one of my favorites right now. Yeah, I mean, it's fun being I, – I always like being, like, one, or interviewing a guy first or early on, you know, rather than, totally. you know – Well, Kevin's also from, like, the town next to mine. Oh, cool. Yeah, so – and, like, I remember, like, seeing him at skate parks, but not really like, – we didn't know each other and shit. Like, he was – he's well, he's 22 now. I'm 28. So it's like there was – like, back then, he was a little shit compared to cool guy, like, you know, teenager, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I mean, he's literally always been, like, far above everyone else kind of thing. So when he started, like, when he moved to Arizona to, like, like, um, like skate with the Pyramid Country dudes and everything, like, it all made sense. Everything made sense. And then when he got on Santa Cruz, like, everyone from back home is, like, fucking stoked. Like, super duper happy about it. So it's, like, I don't know. There's, like, a level of, like, me being proud to interview him because he's from, like, the same shit I'm from, basically. But then there's also, like, the, the fan side where, like, I genuinely enjoy his skateboarding. Like, he's fucking amazing, you know? Yeah, but for, so that, like, for that first reason you just gave, you can interview him differently than someone, you know, say, out in California in a year from now if he blows up or when he blows up. You have, right. that, you have that perspective of, like, watching him grow up skating where you can... Right, and this is, like, my only interview that's doing well on Facebook because of how many mutual friends we have. Oh, cool. Yeah, pretty hyped on that. But I think that's a testament to doing things differently instead of doing totally following like the script and going like, you know, fuck yeah. Which is my biggest oh. sort of my biggest rant constantly is to like just separate everyone, yourself, break out from the same like routine that everybody's doing. You know, mm -hmm. totally. That's what I'm trying to do, man. Jeez. I mean, we don't need more people asking. Jamie Foy about pinch and win, you know winning <laughs> pizza like it's already been done. Winning the pinch pretty well at this point. Yeah, so like <laughs> you know from now on, like hopefully people take that time, that opportunity to get into like other things with them. You know. Um, well, moving along, Mike, you mentioned uh, Frankie Spears, so he obviously was uh, announced on Adidas in their what was it called Broadway Bullet? That yeah, they back last week. Who does that? The backsmith. Gap no. backsmith was heck. I thought it was gap back lip. That was I saw it back lip. Oh fucking! Man. I mean, not to downplay that either. <laughs> but the, the gap back Smith was. Do you see his back foot on the yeah the front angle where his back foot looks like it's completely not? I was. I thought that was rad. His back foot going into the Smith looks like it's uh -huh. off the board or in a really weird position. Dang. And then he I want to talk to him about Cam Wood Cam Woodward really bad. <laughs> that's funny that um that half cap flip was super sick on that off that drop into that bank that's the a hard was, trick to do over shit man i was gonna say that walker walker did an ollie flip in his thunder part like a few months back and he walker actually posted the footage they did they got their tricks back to back damn yeah and i guess if you read walker's interview which i think damon did uh on the deluxe site walker was saying that that's on top of a building in new york and that they won't let you in if you ever board, and they somehow like put their boards in a backpack, and then got up there and got it real quick. And I think the last try, because you can see like a security cart when you when That's you roll away. Back to back, man. Yeah, not no, half cap flipping and then nollie flips. So. You you do half cap flips well, right? Yeah, but I oh, agree, it's weird over stuff. I'd I'd rather yeah, half cap feel. It's so I'd rather half cap feel over something than half cap flip. That's a that's that trick is like an automatic ass. What half cap feel? 
Yeah, it's like the toe, like towards my toes, can't do it. Mm -mm. Uh, yeah, so I mean, I don't know, Mike. I mean, obviously you're hyped on Frankie. Frankie goes, dude. It's crazy seeing him at that little shithead on Camp Woodward. And now he's like doing it. Yeah, I bet it, it's kind of sick because I feel like I mean I saw that as well. And I'm like uh, familiar with him being on there with uh, Midler. Yeah, back Midler, when they were younger. Was and then it was mm -hmm. crazy because, I mean, I've definitely seen Frankie, like, footage of Frankie and stuff since then, but he hasn't been, like, on the front line where, like, Midler has. You know what I mean? Uh, well, I remember uh, when a Alien introduced just, him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember that as well. And, like, but he definitely hasn't had – connection? Well, Brink just dropped out. What did was you make the connection? Yeah, mine's, like, lagging really bad. Um, did you make the connection that there was the same kid? Yeah, I had you know, when when Alien Workshop introduced him, I just thought of like I was like, oh, I've never heard of this dude. Oh, that's funny, and you just put put it together. And then like now. I later on found out, like found out that it was him, and I was just like, oh fuck yeah, like that's sick, dude. Because I remember like there was like a uh, an episode on that where like he like Midler reaches out to somebody at real. I don't remember if it was Jim or not, but he reaches out to somebody at real to get Frankie boards. Yeah, I remember that as well. I remember him getting – I remember the whole thing being like real was Frankie's dream sponsor. Totally, then, yeah. Uh, I remember that. What happened, Brink? Yeah. Drinking your beer? Oh, he's back. I closed my browser by mistake. <laughs> Drinking beers over there. Yingles um, and shit. Yeah, no, that, that's funny. It's cool to be able to look back on it like that. And I, I didn't realize – that's funny how you were saying about um, – how like you didn't connect it when Alien put him on, that that was the same kid. I had no idea that that was the um, same dude. I didn't – I think it's he's crazy fun to watch, like so powerful and skating all those New York spots was super rad. I mean, he's been with Adidas. Uh, I mean, I've, I've been with Adidas said. for a minute. I mean, it, it made sense that they would finally like say mm -hmm. like, all right, here you. Well, I like. I think I read a really cool Put comment by one of the Adidas. I can't remember which Adidas dudes it was that commented on one of his shits. It was like, you earned your stripes, and I was like, that was sick. That was fucking sick. <laughs> That's funny. But we also got and some then, day one and some MJ footy too, right? Yeah. Yep, uh, Tyshawn, dude, that switch heel on flat that Tyshawn did in that one line. Oh, geez, that was geez. like three feet like in the air. Weight, so oh, and the, his gap back lift super heavy. But there was not mean Nikel or Miles. I, say, I mean, I don't have to make it on every trip, obviously. But um, and then they welcome Nora as well to the to the Nora team. Nora goes, dude. She's like my one of my favorite girl skaters, dude. She fucking kills it. Nora, Back yeah. Smith's so sick. Super good style. Right? She's one of the girl skaters that like doesn't do the, the weird like wonky arm thing. <laughs> what? This thing. <laughs> hey, hey, hey Mike, do you want to take Nikel's pro model away since he had no Adidas footage? Fuck no, Nikel goes. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> He's got Adidas part. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, he has, he has a, a one and a half parts for Adidas, right? Oh, uh, oh, well, yeah, new stripes, and then he shared. That's right. See, I know my shit, Rob Brink. I know you guys are way more. You know, I remember my skate nerd days. I nerd out. <laughs> I was up I on. The There's nothing wrong. Anymore. I'm not dissing it. I'm saying, like, I remember when I like had every fucking nugget of information in my brain from like every day. It was crazy with the, the nerdiness because he remembers tricks at spots from like the fourth trick in somebody's line or some shit like that. <laughs> That's crazy to do now with all the internet footage, but that wasn't hard back in the day. You know, like until maybe 2010, I had it like that with everything from like... What's your most watched video of all time? Me? Oh, yeah. man. Um, apart from Dylan's part, um... Most part, most yeah. watched video, probably something back in the day, like um, you know, uh, like one hundred and one snuff or or you know, New World Order, World Industries, or something from that era, probably. Grant, what would you say is your most watched video? Uh, pretty sweet. Maybe Goldfish, even or something like that. Or since day one, I love so many parts in that video. Um, since day one is a good fucking video, man. Of course. Get introduced to Kyle, right? Yeah, he had he shared footage with. Uh, 
always forget who his partner is. Because Kyle didn't even have that much. He had like less than a minute. I remember thinking he looks like a little kid. Like the first time I watched, it, I was like, "Who the fuck?" This little kid. He just at the time. Yeah. It's I think my most watched everywhere. video of all time has got to be Manic Mati. That I, I burned that red fucking cassette out, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I also That's worked sick. in a skate shop for a while, so there was times where like we would have Chomp or Beware of the Flare or something harsh Eurobarge just playing over and over and over and over for like months. That's it. That's how how our shop was with Pretty Sweet. Do you work at a shop? Going. Yeah. So you're making that money. (laughs) Oh, you don't work at a skate shop anymore? You just do that? No, I help out with like marketing stuff. So I try to. What's the name of the shop? Fargo Skateboarding. It's the, uh, it's also the indoor skate park. There's like a nice little, it's fucking cool, man. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, you should come to Chicago and we can fucking come out here and skate, dude. I'll be I'll be there. If they have Street League there this year, I'll be there. All right, good. I hope they do. It's so fun. It's so good for the city, too. Like, Chicago eats that shit up, man. Good restaurants. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Especially near UIC. Sound hyped on that, Mike. Yeah, Chicago has yeah, good ass food, man. Like you guys eat them fucking rabbit food out there. Like we eat food. What are you talking about? One of my favorite restaurants in the world, the second location. It's out here, the second locations in Chicago. What is it? It's called the Side Door. It's part of Lowry's Steakhouse. Oh, that's sick. So Lowry's Steakhouse, Steakhouse, that's like save up, your, right? save up your allowance and uh, go <laughs> go to Side Door. Twenty eight years old. I've never received an allowance in my life. Okay. It's not that bougie. I mean, all right. What's the sushi <laughs> place that What's the sushi place that Morimoto owns out there? Oh, fuck. I know what you're talking about. I don't eat that shit, so I don't really – I've never been there, but I know – I know. You don't eat sushi? I don't eat fish. I think it's gross. Oh, uh, you have baby palates still. That's cool. Whatever, dude. It's, it's called having <laughs> fucking two parents that you work full time. You got to cook for yourself. So what's that have to do with cooking fish or not? Because that shit's gross, man. We eat chicken nuggets. That Yeah, which isn't even chicken. But that's Hell like, no. <laughs> nothing gross about that. <laughs> which isn't even chicken. You know what? Yeah, I don't know why this, this, just got bra- or this uh, just came across my mind in that uh, the episode of uh, The Nine Club where uh, Kelly Hart's eating the Cinnabon and he's like, I'm just looking at it and I'm wondering, what is this going to do for me? <laughs> I don't know. It's so weird to me that he's so like so passionately no, against. What, what what is it? It's a fucking clump of dough with some cinnamon and butter on it. You know what I mean, like Jesus, dude. No I mean, nutritional he's got a point. I didn't see that, but he's got a point. It's not. I mean, what? It's, it's it's just bad all around, oh. except for the except for the instant gratification. When yeah, you but first you can say that about a ton of things. I feel like a Cinnabon, you could take one bite of, and that's pretty much all you need. It's so rich, yeah. You don't need more than one bite. It's nah. not all. Like, you get Cinnabon at the fucking airport. Like, you don't go to the, the Cinnabon store. I don't know. Um, what are, Grant like, wants Walker. to move forward. Huh? No, well, I mean, Grant no, wants no, to no, move no. on. We're What's talking in circles. Mean? What's ours? Ours. Active Ride Shop. ARS. Oh, you should put an uh, S. Sorry. Yeah, you should make an S Sorry. out of it and just say <laughs> Or a C. Cars. Cars? Oh, I would like the yeah. S. You should put an S and make it say SARS. <laughs> uh, Kyle Walker Sorry. won Trick of the Year. <laughs> Speaking of Kelly Hart, and we're just talking about Kyle. Um, for obviously the 50, the hectic 50. I don't think that was too much of a shocker. I felt like it was either going to be him or Tiago. Wait, what? Personally. Kyle won the trick of the year on the 50? <laughs> Hello? What? Are you alive? I'm here. He's eating fucking chicken nuggets. I think I have nothing. Friend. I'm starving, dude, actually. I'm really fucking oh, hungry. You're back. You tripped out. Did you hear what did you hear what I said? No, I had no idea. My computer I was, sucks. I was bringing up that Kyle Walker won trick of the year. What is what is what does it take to win trick of the year? Like most reposts are just like your shit going viral, or like I'm not saying Kyle shouldn't have won because that was absolutely ape shit. 
I'm just really confused by the whole SLS trick of the year thing. I don't know. I, what, I think they say, like, their judges just choose whichever I think, think that by so. them making, like, a short list of it, I feel like all those people kind of won. All right. Well, that's kind of yeah, like I mean, any voting thing, right? Like, it's pretty yeah, sick they, to be in the SOTY list, even if you don't win. I think uh -huh. there's a lot more prestige to that. <laughs> well, of course. Like, this ooh, is the oh, second man. trick of the year Isn't ever. more bougie? Yeah, I like them bad and bougie. I knew that was coming. <laughs> it's not like, it's not like um, a chicken nugget. <laughs> a chicken nugget. I love the chicken nugget. Song. You love this chicken nugget reference, huh? That's your I shit. That's out. hilarious. That's just funny. Well, because he said fish was disgusting and followed it up. With yeah, but, but a chicken ball. nugget is just it's great. Like it isn't? smells the way it tastes. That's so weird. What is fish? I don't see why it's so weird. It's disgusting. Part, part, part of what's disgusting that, sometimes it's when you cook fish that you get. Well, you that. definitely can't go. Uh, you can't go fishing in Lake Michigan, so there's that. <laughs> I, I prefer sushi. Just I don't like a lot of cooked fish because it does change in taste and smell. Sushi so. is so good. See, Grant knows. Yeah, me and Brink are gonna go get sushi the next time we go to a premiere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, sushi, California sushi cuddles. <laughs> 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 and you are you the guy that goes to a sushi restaurant and like orders the steak, the one steak uh, they put? That's you guys both owe me. I didn't even know they had that. Well, and every you know, like chicken teriyaki. Every sushi oh, chicken restaurant has like a chicken oh, dish and steak. For, the, for those people who don't want seafood, they have one meat. One meat. <laughs> oh, it's either chicken or teriyaki. Something teriyaki. I'm going teriyaki. Chicken teriyaki, and you'll get like some vegetables or something. I don't want that either, dude. <laughs> This is way more fun than talking about tricks that were already done. What is this? Decisions that were already made for chicken filet, fish filet. <laughs> oh, what? Like, like Diego being pro already, but like we already saw his board. But like, why does Primitive do that? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? What happened? Why does Primitive do that agenda dude, reveal what? bullshit? Why not? That's a lot of people reveal shit at no. agenda. No. Uh uh. Name another one. Says the guy that's in, in another state. <laughs> hey, hey, I had people there, bro. People reveal, reveal new shoes or new companies or Ooh. new pros or uh, lots of things at a gym. When? When do they offer? When? 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 In, like all throughout history. It used to be ASR. What, right. there's a new, I mean, yeah, no, okay. that's what it is. Let me give you an example. Joey's the footwear company, the footprint insole thing. Oh. That, that was at like uh, the agenda this year. That was a reveal. They had, they had an outsole. Yeah, so that was a. Re you're asking me to name a reveal from the trade show, like. No, 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 no. I'm not asking yes. you to do that. I'm asking you to do another company that shows a skater's pro board without turning them pro already. Well, if they have a board, they're already pro. What do you mean? <laughs> tradition, man. I'm you a mean tradition, without man. some big announcement and video part? Need that, dude. You're you're. You're like living inside a box, man. You don't like when you don't like when the rules bend, do you? I'm a traditionalist, Robert. Yeah, Brain. you don't like change. I that's not true because when fucking awesome did what they're doing, I think it's cool. I just also believe in a sense of tradition. That's all. What's that's the, all. What's the difference? Like that's what I don't. All right. What's the difference? You're like, what you're like a fucking little yachty fan, and I'm just like I'm over here listening to Tupac. No, not necessarily. I'm asking you, what's the difference if he turns pro, like if you see a board at a trade show versus... I just think it's a boring way to do it, personally. Boring. But so how do you know boring. that there's not more on the way? Oh, I hope there is. I'm I mean, we know, know that, that there's more on the way, though. It, it, and so the surprise, surprise pro party isn't boring? Like the surprise pro party that well, everyone... Because it's just so... That's yeah, no, no, I see what you're saying, but... So what are you talking... I mean, it, I don't know. I think at the end of so the day, what matters party. is the skateboarding. Fucking A, man. Whatever. <laughs> You're so mad. You're so mad at details. You're a grown adult. Stop getting all worked up over these details. I'm not worried about fucking all. deadbeat tenants to evict. Stop worrying God, about a. God. Ain't that the truth? Stop oh worrying my about a trade show versus a video part versus a tradition. Hey, start a board not, company and do it right. You're, you're taking like you're taking like 
the small tidbits of what I'm saying, and you're trying to make it into like an overall concept of, oh, here's what he's saying. Like, that's not. No, that's I'm not. just going off what you said. You said that why does primitive turn a dude pro at a trade show? I just think it's boring. That's all. I can't be the only one who feels this way. Maybe it is. I just don't see the difference. Like, isn't it like before you were worried about dudes being pro? Be happy. No, I think I pro. like a sense of surprise. Mm. It's a kid in me. Right? It's the kid but in me. You're, so you're not surprised if you see. How is that different? Like, what? Who? Who do you like to surprise in yourself or the pro? Me, I like me to be surprised. Like, I like waking up and being like, "Welcome to Primitive, Diego," or like, "Diego's pro for Primitive. Here's a part with it. Sick, fuck yeah!" Not like, "Okay, cool. We got this board graphic in January. Now comes the video part in fucking April." Or something. But is Primitive making that announcement on their Instagram or other people posting it? I post it. I don't give a fuck. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is... What, if, Diego's board? Yeah. Is Primitive I don't, posting I don't that? Primitive post it, no, it, hell no, they're not. not. So then why are, you, why are you asking why does Primitive do that? That's someone else posting their trade show booth. Because you didn't... I guess because no other brand does that. How do you know? Just because you haven't seen photos? I mean, I would have seen a photo. Oh, you would have. Maybe the Diego thing is such exciting news that that's the only photo that gets posted, but there's other stuff like that happening. You're you're one you're one to stipulate or like you're no, like you guys are stipulating. That's not true. I just I'm was making a point that I just think it's a little boring. The, the trade show is to show your upcoming line. If Diego is going to be pro in an upcoming line, are they supposed to hide the board so nobody there buying the product knows? But how do they brand then, Brink? Because they don't always turn pro around like trade show time or pre. But I don't know everything as far as the sales cycles work. I'm not. I'm not the reason why I feel like I'm kind of like getting at you about this is because you did work with. <laughs> Yeah, so, but not when Diego was on the team. responsible for this fuckery. But I wasn't there. I, by the time Diego was on the team, he was just getting flowed when I, when I left. Good point. You're right. So get your facts straight, boy. I, hey, my <laughs> facts are <straight>, boy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna, I know about Rob Briggs' life. I'm going to post, I'm gonna post mate some fucking chicken nuggets and calm your ass down. Shit. <laughs> So I got post out here. Would, you say, would you say you know about my life and it's weird? Yeah. Well, like sunsets and tea and stuff. Yeah. I mean, who doesn't know that? You own Canada's. your home. Mm -mm. I own a condo rent. in New Jersey that I rent out, and I've had to evict people Good. like you. Oh, do but you have a property manager? Uh, my mom. <laughs> oh, <sick. laughs> my mom looks after it. It's pretty sick. But, Is your mom a badass? Um, no, my mom's really sweet. Oh. Um, but luckily, uh, owner, dude. we haven't had too many, like, problematic tenants. I've owned it for, like, 14 years, 12 years or something. Oh, shit. How much is rent? Uh, Maybe, like, eleven fifty or something. You want to move oh, in wow. New Jersey? It's a one-bedroom. Nice. I don't know the size. It's a standard size one-bedroom. That's not a thing. I don't know what standard size is. It's got laundry and everything. Oh, sick. Well, some places don't, dude. Some places have like. Oh man, yeah. I, I live in one. I have a our shit is pay like pay operated. It's in a nice little cul-de-sac. Oh, nice. I think it's probably like I don't know. Your average one bedroom is what, like seven or eight hundred square feet or something. Dude, I live in a one bedroom that's bigger than that, and I pay six hundred a month. Yeah, well, that's why I live here, dude. Everyone always asks me why I live here. That's that's why. Because it's cheap. Cheap as fuck. But you don't have an ocean. I don't have an ocean, and it gets so fucking cold here. You have no I idea. So I don't know, man. Sometimes that's You're not good. worth 600 bucks. Well, Brink. Get out of here. Get a job. Make money. I'm out of this fucking place. I'm done. I've see, seen, seen your home. tweets. I see <laughs> your tweets. You're I like, 2017, I'm going to grind. I'm going to hustle. I'm going to make moves. Right. I'm not stopping until I work for Spitfire. Do it. That's fine. I don't like that. For that. No, no, no. I'm not clowning you. I'm saying I like it. 
but I do stay it. Motivated. This is the year that I, I'm, I'm trying to get a really nice tan. I want to meet a woman that's all tatted up and shit. I want well, that. You got to get out here for that. I know. It's a fact. That's absolutely it. Where's I'll, take you out, I'll take you out in Laguna and get you. We'll Where's get you. Laguna at? It's, an, it's dead in the middle of L.A. and San Diego, pretty but much. It's like literally in the middle. Okay, that's what I thought. See, see, that's, that's, what, that's what I need. That's what I strive for because I really like San Diego. I like L.A. That Laguna, that's the L.C. Steve. Laguna's tropical. That. It's like being on vacation. And I know. I see you, dude. I'll, I'll take you out on Laguna. We'll get you some attention from girls. Oh, I need that. <laughs> Can we talk about skating? That's, dude, no, um, that's yeah, boring. Our, our, our viewers are gonna like just destroy me for this cut fucking uh, this episode. Does Does anyone even, can you even tell if people are watching like on this Google Hangouts now compared to black? Uh, oh yeah. no, yeah, there isn't a live. You know what's crazy? I, I I didn't know about this until recently that right now there's like a live chat on YouTube. But mm. when when this like gets posted officially or whatever, like after it's live, those comments go away. Yeah, that's fucking weird. Indeed. Why do they do that? So you can't tell who's watching right now, or if anyone's yeah. asking yeah. questions. Um, we can give an example. Like I'm out right now. I'll go check it out right now and see. I don't know how that works though. Exactly, it's not as convenient as Blab was in that sense, bro. Yeah, um, Blab was the shit. But this Everyone's, is better. All the comments are basically just Drew related. Yeah, really? yeah they're mad that he's not here. I mean, I don't blame him. Who does Drew is the shit. Here. I'm not mad at Drew, though. He wants to do his thing. He wants to... He, I mean, I well, think... at some that's point, better. you need to start a career, you know? Yeah, that's what happened with Drew. And he said he called me, he left me a message, he said, you know, like, this is what I'm doing, here's what's happening, I don't want you to be in the dark about anything. <laughs> like, he quit. He quit. Did he do an Insta post, like, like, yeah, he posted a blank board. Yeah, did he, he post Nikes? Posted, I, when he did his little, like, farewell post, I, I honestly was hoping that it was going to be a blank board. He should have posted, like, a blank computer screen. <laughs> oh my god, I would have loved that. Like that would have been hilarious. Or like <laughs> non, a non-branded microphone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's going to be missed. Here's the man. Definitely. Um, so, jo well, we're, Joey Brzezinski has been hinting at uh, Visual, which is Van Styles' brand, becoming a board company. I don't know. I don't he's not Van Styles anymore. He's Steven Velasco. Thank you. Um and it looks like, I mean, based off tweets and, like, some Instagram posts that me and Mike have been looking at, Yenta, with some screenshots. Yeah, Smatty, <laughs> this is gross. Smatty, this is Yenta Grant shit right here. Smatty doesn't sound too hyped over at Mystery, although he is still promoting it, but that could easily be, like, contract-based or something. Um, I think – Mike, go ahead. I think that, like, Smatty just does not fit on Mystery at fucking all, and I yeah, think I that this whole visual thing – um, I think he would fit there. I think that by him and Joey staying together, I think that that's a cool fit. Yeah, Joey's backed him for a while. I think that, that – yeah, that, I was going to say, he's been back in Schmatty for – seems like forever. Yeah, so I think that would be really – Schmatty, if that, if the right. first time I heard about him was in like a random like Grizzly Grip Tape commercial. I who, think I've seen who that. Who does mystery know. now? Like where's mystery – like you're saying that you don't think he fits mystery. I don't even know who fit like, – like who fits – I think I just still look at it as the same black and white mystery. I guess. Who does mystery? It's not out of um, zero. Oh, it's, it's uh, is it surplus? I don't know. I can I look know. it up. It's just like its own thing now. It's not out of like another big distribution or something. I thought so. oh, that seems like the way to do it now is do it yourself. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll look into it while we continue to talk. Um, no, so, yeah, so Schmatty actually had the same video on Joe Brzezinski's Instagram where you'll see uh, Daniel Espinosa and Vans. Schmatty has, like, the same blank board as Joey, and Joey's pretty much has shown that he's getting, like, whatever are going to be the visual boards. Um, and to answer your question, yeah, it's through Surplus, which is Thieve, Life Extension, Mystery, and I don't know what this is, but FSC. Oh. Um, so I that's a mystery. Extension was through the same shit as Element. 
Yeah, that changed a while ago. Oh, yeah, wow. Element, Element, Plan B, or Branch, right? And Hard Luck. Hard Luck's with that, too. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I guess we'll see moves, whatever, with visuals and – or visual and Joey and Schmatty probably sometime in the future. That is – is that it? Yeah, oh, push actually. Part. Done with the oh, yeah, homework push. list. Yeah, his homework. Oh, two more his homework is and all. Homework, and, then, and I'll get to actual homework. Uh, yeah, push. I, was, I liked his new Miles episode a lot, actually. Oh, they talk about how talented boy. his family was? Oh, was it too repetitive for you? I, no, it's whatever. I just think that they're all the same episode. I'm just watching the same episode. Other than Beeble, they're all the same, same exact thing. Rob, do you watch? Do you watch Push or this one? This one. I do. I do watch them. I tend to not watch them in real time. Like I'll go back and watch them when they're all live. You know, like okay. last last year, I watched them all in like one night after they were all done. I wish I would have done yeah. it that way. Cause then you watch it and you watch the part, and if you're bored, if oh. someone, if you don't want to watch the documentary, you can just skip to the part. But wait, so how do you feel about Miles since you don't like numbers? I love Miles. <laughs> From the second that numbers it was a thing, and we had learned about their team, you can quote me on this one. I said their team is the shit. And well, you're very- quoting yourself on the internet right now. You're you're making. <laughs> That's fine. I can do that. I'm fucking. I. This is my I don't show. Need to- I don't need to quote it if you're you're publishing it on the internet. It's it's already quoted. Okay, well, so you know, you said what? I said numbers team is the shit, and that's what I'm excited about for the brand. So I mean, I mean, here's okay. All right, you and I had like a side conversation about numbers, sort of, right? Yeah. Where we yeah. talked about graphics and all that shit or whatever. See, here's here's what's gonna happen. You were though. Disappointed or whatever on Twitter. Disappointed, right? That's it. That's it. You or you tried to call me out, but I hey, I let it stand. That's fine. Whatever. All I'm saying is that so like they they cover their ass sort of so to speak by <laughs> like saying that like there's different editions, right? So like every run of boards is a different edition, okay? Whatever the fuck that means. Um so it's the like next series, edition, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, they've been. Why can't they just call it series like every other? Like they just got to be different. Yeah, why not try to be a little different than do it? That was an addition, brain. What's that? What the fuck is an addition? It's the same thing. Is it? It's just a a way of rewording it. Got it. So they're doing the same shit in different words, and it's now somehow fresh and cool and different. Got it. Cool. (laughs) <laughs> no, but what I was gonna say is like, okay, so so say like the second edition is super fucking sick. Like I can't say anything about that. I'd be like, yo, it's super fucking sick. Like maybe I don't know. But I but, I just don't understand being like disappointed by it. like why would you get yourself to the point where you're disappointed about a company that hasn't even put anything out yet? Because the first thing they put out was a Nike collab for a Costin 3 before they put out a board graphic. No, they put it out at the same time, didn't they? No. No. I saw it all in like the same couple days. Well, I didn't. How far in advance was the shoe before the boards were shown? Not too far in advance, but it did come out. The Nike stuff was at least announced and like photos came out first. Yeah, how how, how yeah. far in advance? Probably a, a week to two weeks. All oh, right. Mom. It, that's an that's an estimate. I'm not I'm not being exact. But I, what's I wrong with we, that? Oh uh, well, we we talked about this a to lot. Me, that's that's different. Happening. To me, that's different too. Like, and I'm not saying. Oh, it is different. I, well, okay. I, I like that people are doing different shit. I don't. But I don't yeah, you don't want to see the same like stuff. Looks after there's an interview with Guy Mariano where he clearly says it's not a Nike company. We're not backed by Nike. We have nothing to do with Nike or whatever the fuck he said. And the first thing they do is collab with Nike. What do yeah, you mean? It's not surprising. Are, okay. so I worked at Emerica, right? Everything yeah. was Baker related with Ultima and Emerica for years. Because it, well, I mean, look at the, so like, it's the exact same thing, dude. No, it's not. It is they because do. it's like saying that like everything there were so many Baker collabs and Baker riders and Emerica Baker and there were, Because half their team is riding for America though. And, and numbers half of numbers Nike. is on Nike. And the other half is Adidas, so how is it relevant? Because it's the same exact thing. For Nike. <laughs> so they're going to drop an Adidas collab for the second half of the team oh, now? Maybe they will. Don't skate for Adidas. 
But maybe they would. Who knows? It's possible. They got Miles and TX. All I'm telling you is that that like shoe collab thing is like not really anything super. Like people are mad at it, but it's not that out of the ordinary. I just to collab with another know. brand like that. Oh no, no, not at all. I don't think that's out of the ordinary. I just wish that people the, just want to be mad at that instead of other things. So the people shit, we'll always find a reason to be mad. But I wish that the I just wish that we saw board graphics before the collab, so we had like a feel for what the brand. Just for a feel for the brand. Right. I mean, I wasn't out there tweeting like, this is pissing. Like, I really don't care. If I think it's dumb, I'll just not look at it. I was disappointed. But I, wish that <laughs> the, I wish that the board graphics, so we had a feel for what numbers was. With We have a feel for the team, but I wish we could tell, like, where they're going with their art direction and graphics before the Nike collab. But why? Whatever. Now, now we've seen the graphics, so whatever. But I why mean, does that matter? Great. Just because I feel like... With a collaboration, you you see two companies come together, and I I'm not always, but I guess in some tense you see them join in the middle. You're seeing a mix of these brands. Where with the Nike and Numbers, I'm not saying you have never seen this with another collaboration, but what you're seeing is pretty basic Nike products that just has a, a little Numbers font on it. That's what well. every every shoe collab is a fucking. Yeah. Logo yeah. on the insole. Yeah, and yeah, like no. A, I mean, deck, deck I company the logo on the insole. Deck company logo yeah. maybe on the tongue. With They're the, always yeah, that um, simple, yeah. dude. It's people just want to be mad well, at not, this one thing. I'm not saying you're wrong. <laughs> I just wish that we had more of a feel for the company for collab. I don't know. I and I, I mean, I, I mean, you just asked me to explain, and I no, didn't. No, no. I didn't. I don't have the best explanation. No. I, that's just how I look at it. Wrong. I just you didn't think about it. I know I didn't even think about it as something to be like uh, upset or skeptical or disappointed. Like, like <laughs> disappointed. I just saw it as like, okay, they're releasing a brand, they're releasing a shoe at the same time. Like, cool. I mean, obviously, it's smart and it makes sense. Yeah. And money wise, and publicity. Money wise, oh no way. Well, I mean, you have to. I mean, obviously, they're gonna have to do what they can to get money. To start the brand off successful, right? Gotta do very much. Mike wants everyone to be like a poor, poor skateboarder who only like keeps it super fucking real and core and homeless <laughs> under a fucking bridge. Not true, because I'm a huge fan of Brandon Beeble and Pirat, and they both flaunt their shit. Yeah. <laughs> what? Do you remember the commercial that we bring up on the show all the time where they talk to each other on the with the bills? <laughs> That's my favorite fucking thing, like ever. Just as an example, another one. Terry Kennedy, love it. Love that shit. Fuck did you that. watch his weekend buzz? Uh, of course I did. I watch every we weekend. We talked about it on here. Um, when uh when <clears> he told <throat> the story of quitting and getting back on Baker, like I was dying. That was super funny. Oh, I love that dude. Oh, that's that's what I was waiting for the whole time. I think that's I mean, what not I that I like. didn't enjoy the rest, but that, I've been wanting to know something about that situation since it happened. Yeah. But I like that he made fun of himself. You know, he didn't try to. Like, yeah, he was cool, cool about it. Guy. He didn't try to. Yeah, be like, oh no. I want to know what his relationship is like with Antoine. His relationship? Yeah, because I remember when like Antoine first got on Baker, they like kind of grouped them together. Oh really? I yeah. Don't know. Because I remember even when fucking what all right, just as an example, when uh Antoine got kicked off the fight, it was because somebody called Terry the N word, right? Kicked off what? Off that flight. You know, like uh, the of him like losing his shit. I remember the video, I don't know what started it. I'm pretty sure that was it. I don't know. But if you're calling Terry that, you're calling everyone. Oh, I'm not saying by any means right? that right? you're really calling anyone of like any pretty much any ethnicity at that point. Like Yeah. Yeah, it's, I don't know. I don't know what to start with. That. We're very like good, you know. The crazy thing was that was on the way to Tampa. I remember being at Tampa, and then like straight from the plane, they were at the skate park, and I remember hearing that story. Like these dudes just got in a fight on a plane. <laughs> that's that's insane. I still, dude. I, Tampa is still on the bucket list, man. You're, dude, go to pro this year. I'm going. I want to go so bad. So. Oh, that's soon, huh? Like they do it in March usually. It's like March, first weekend in March. Okay. Cool. Dude, get in your car and fucking drive, dude. Are you kidding me? That's what I used to do from Jersey. I oh, fuck her, I'll break down. You know how many times we drove there when we were younger? From Jersey? From Tampa or from Jersey? 
Yeah. The Tampa? Yeah, man. We have the love. Nice. I guess you I guess you don't have the love. Nope. That's Hate core, you. though, man. Drive there and sleep in the car. And of course, <laughs> fuck, dude. Throw, you know, spit on Nike signs on the way down. <laughs> do do whatever. <laughs> no, seriously, driving to uh, Tampa, we did it for a couple of years. So fun. You did it as a 28 year old man? Probably not. Yeah. No, I, maybe like um, I was still in Jersey. So maybe 22, 21, 23. Like we did it like four or five years in a row. That was six years ago. Until I could afford to uh, f- uh, fly there. Yeah, I can't. Actually, I probably could. But what what would be so bad about the road trip? Oh, uh, finding people. So like, Just, oh, finding bros. Yeah. Why? All, all of my like bros are either like broke as fuck skateboarders or like corporate motherfuckers that like used to be skateboarders that had to join. Yeah, the they sold out, huh? Yeah, yep. I tell them all the time. I tell them all the time. You should just sell all those boards on your wall and get enough money to go to Tampa and do some networking and get a job in the industry and then move to California. But I really like these boards. They're sick. I know, but you got to do what you got to do. There's Primitive, dude, your favorite company. Where? Which one? I love Primitive. Both of these. Oh, wait. Both of those. I see a screaming hand. I don't don't really see anything else. Captain America. That's Wes Kramer, Ernie Torres, Brad Stabo, some guy named Dylan, uh, Huffnagel. Damn, I'm really good at this pointing thing. Is that thing. Killing Floor? What is that, that pink oh, one? That's, one? that's a Mother Collective. That's oh, Mother, is. sorry. Yeah, call mom, that is. <laughs> My favorite website name ever. I think you could get, if you really wanted to get to Tampa and you really wanted a career in skateboarding, you'd drive down there. That's not fair to say. You don't want it bad enough, dude. That's, that's not fair to say at all. I'm being inspirational like Gary Vee and shit. That's, <laughs> don't be a fucking puss. You want it so if you don't want it bad enough if you don't go. I'd be sick. You guys like that guy, right? I could do his act. No, nah, me and Drew, me and Drew, you, uh, yeah. Me and Drew never looked at him again after that. I hope you should ask Drew about it. It's hilarious. Dude, it's the worst. What happened? This dude, Gary I, Vaynerchuk, he's like a... I don't know. He's what like a you know, business he's dude. Like that was, he's like a motivational you know? speaker. Motivational dude. And me and Drew okay. like, I mean, Drew like read some of his stuff or like watching these videos, and then, and then Drew brought it up to Brink to Brink, I think, and then Brink started hating on it. And yeah, then he like that, buys Instagram and, followers and shit. He's if, like, if he's ever like comes up, media. if it ever comes up to Drew now, he's just like, I can't look at, I can't look at Gary the same. Robert Good. And I'm, yeah. and I'm still, I'm so confused right now. Yeah, Dude, these, all these people fall, fall for this fucking motivational social media speaker guy named Gary Vaynerchuk, and all he does is like yell at people and tell them they're not working hard enough. <laughs> that's not the guy. That's, that's not the guy in the garage with the Lambo, is it? Oh no, that's no, the worst. No. What's it's that the name? same thing. It might as well be the same fucking thing. What's that thing. guy's name, though? That guy's hilarious. That guy sucks. He's so that guy. Oh. So imagine the social media version of that guy. And that's oh, who. Man. No, that, the dude in the garage is worse. No way. The Hollywood <laughs> Hills guy, my Lamborghini. What is it like? He's a guy reading a book a day. You're like, oh, for knowledge. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> so stupid. Gary Vee is the same fucking thing. He just packed I don't believe in that motivation. I mean, it depends. If you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, it's one thing. But, like, shooting shit up people is not – that's weird. Like, I'm not just going to blow – like, gas you up to just get some paychecks. That's weird. Oh, that's kooky. I used to edit, well, that I used is- to edit books for those guys. When I worked at a Did book publisher, like like those types of dudes, oh, and, Brad and, and all they wanted to do was that. get a book done, so that they could sell it at their seminars. You know, so they didn't care what the fuck was in it. The books were horrible, but they wanted to sell it at their fucking. Seminars. They sold it to the fucking heap. Yep. Weird. So I had to get these guys off of Gary V, so they could move so forward with these lives. Out. I'm glad you did. You know what? I'm going to sell out a Gary V video really quick. Yeah, he just yells at you. Dude, no. Yo, yo. 
Brink, remember that one photo I thought of him like crouched? <laughs> yeah, why was he crying in front of the cafe? Like, yeah. Like when you type Barry B in YouTube, it's the first name that comes up. This fucker has half a million subscribers. Yeah. All right, here he we go. This one's entitled. He posts. Self- this one's entitled. I'm in full control of my life. Weird. Yeah, play it. He's gonna yell at you and tell you, tell you that you're being a pussy. Hey, Tyshawn's getting Adidas colorway. <laughs> I couldn't even. What did she say? It doesn't even matter. It's like the same. Of my life. <laughs> yeah, no shit. His his animations are pretty. Like his, the way he talks is pretty funny. You can tell that he's on stage and he's talking with his hands a lot. Yeah, he, he does fire him up. That's for sure. <laughs> he can probably fire you up. <laughs> Somebody like I bet you. I bet you Drew really likes him. We uh, should like anymore. it would be funny to create like a skate motivational guru and see like how far he could get as oh, like coach, being a coach. What was the dude in skate three, coach? What? Oh, Jason Lee? Yeah, but what what did they call him, coach? I don't remember. Yeah, there's some like skate character. Was, like, the worst one. Anyway. Rob, do you have anything you want to say about I don't know, we're done. We're done with the homework list as you call it. I'm just bouncing off you. I don't have anything I want to say. I'm just reacting to you guys. Well, we're probably going to go ahead and wrap it up then. Well, we've been doing shout-outs the last few weeks. Shout-outs? Yeah, shout-outs. What is this, a hip-hop radio show? No, when I was first on Skate Filet, they used to do shout-outs. Then I thought of it the other day. I was like, it's a funny Who do we shout-out? I don't know who you want. Shout I don't really have a shout-out anyone. Shout-out to Gary V. <laughs> yeah. Shout-out yeah, to numbers. To what, boomers? To numbers. Oh, I was like, what? Shout out to all the additions. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to chicken nuggets. <laughs> and the Thanks, well. and shout out to all the, pro- to the property managers. <laughs> Jim's been texting me during this. Shout out to Jim, who loves Gary Vee. I keep Jim trying, I know, I keep, keep trying to get Jim away from Gary Vee. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be completely lying to you if I said that I wasn't going to go watch a Gary Vee video directly as soon as this turns off. Oh, yeah, you should check oh, it out. Don't do just it. trust Rob. Don't just don't, trust Rob. Don't take my word for it. Learn to hate him right. on your own. Create, create. <laughs> <laughs> Brink, I'm surprised you don't tweet about him. Okay, on a level of one day. Yeah, he, he doesn't deserve attention. that attention, you know? Knows, I knew you were going to say that. That's why everybody... Everybody hating on Trump, it's like so stupid. You're just giving them more attention. On a scale of one to ten, how – okay, on a scale of one to Trump, how pretentious <laughs> is this guy? Gary Vee? Yeah. He's the worst, dude. He posts selfies all day long. And the buys worst than Donald Trump is what you're saying. I, I don't know. I don't have like a political opinion. I mean, Donald Trump sucks. You can, okay, I'm not even talking about politics. I'm just pretty much talking about like humanism at this point. I mean, <laughs> Gary V. To me, Gary V. Sucks, but I don't know. We can't wait to watch this. I'm excited. You I should react to it too. for you. Maybe you'll I will be. say. I'm I will not say. anti. I'm not like Brink. I I just don't even. I yeah. I I got turned off from everything Rob said. He built successful businesses, and that's rad. But then he transitioned into this like weird motivational guru guy, and that's when it. Came yeah, out. but I think you can learn from the stuff that he built, though. Oh, of course, but not from him. Like, because I feel like that's what I was doing. I was, I, I mean, I do see some of, like what you're saying about the videos, but you can like still learn from. I mean, in the books, what you were saying at all, they just want to put it out there. Pieces you can get that you can learn from. Yeah, I mean, if you can, if he <laughs> inspires you in some way, then and and you weren't already inspired, then that's fucking rad. <laughs> I just think it's funny that people worship worship him. Like, he, he doesn't really say anything that you couldn't come up with yourself. These uh-huh. comments are gold. What? <laughs> These comments under this video are gold. Are they mad at him? There's, there's just really sarcastic ones, dude. There's some good ones in here. Yeah, because it's all horse shit, you know? And that's all. Yeah. This one says, be proactive. Best idea that ever changed my life. Uh, yeah. <laughs> He's not telling you anything you don't already know. <laughs> Oh, this is excellent, dude. This is the best. That's a good way to end it. That's going to be Skatefully. We'll be back next week.